What's going on you guys? So, I recently picked up a handheld 3D scanner. It's a uh, Rebel Point Pop 2 scanner. Not the best one on the market, clearly, due to its price. Um, kind of difficult to use, but it seems to do decent scans. Now I recently had the visor hook on my daily driver break on me. One of these right here. I have the second one, which is the same, uh, passenger side one. So I wanted to see if I could just 3D scan this, take that raw 3D scan file, throw it into Cura, slice it, and print it with nothing in between. I just want to see if I can scan it, print it, replicate it. I'm guessing it's not going to be as simple as that. Probably going to have to go into the uh, STL file, make some modifications. It actually is that easy. It's probably not though. So before we even start scanning this, we have to spray it with some kind of powder. Something to give it a matte reflection. Kind of bring those, bring those reflections down, that way the scanner can pick it up better. And for this, I'm just using some dry spray shampoo. Seems to work really good. And it smells nice. So we can see we have it pulled up right here on our 3D scan, giving us kind of a, a rough idea of what we're looking at here. So I think that's pretty centered. So now we're gonna go ahead, start the scan. So it's one full rotation, so we're gonna stop the scan. I mean, it's really not terrible. We do have an open spot in the back there though. So it did not pick that up, which means we need to put a little more scanning spray on it. So we got our 3D scan completed. We have all the scans meshed into one single object here. So now we're gonna export this and do an STL file, throw it on the card, send it straight to the 3D printer. No cleanup, nothing. We're gonna print it out just as it scanned it, see how it turns out. It's probably gonna turn out terrible. So after this one, I'm probably gonna go through and actually just draw one in CAD because it would probably take a quarter of the time it took to do all these scans and then the meshing and then all that, so. Don't, I, don't, I don't think this is going to uh, turn out too great. I think just drawing it in CAD would have been a better option, if I'm being, being totally honest here. Slice it. Um, I, don't, I don't have high hopes for this at all. I have no high hopes for this. I, I think this is going to be catastrophic failure. And uh, I think doing it this way is more difficult than actually just drawing it in CAD. Pop. Pop that boy out of there. Pop that into there. Now we got that program running, so that's heating up right now. It's gonna print it out, and then we'll uh, see how it turns out. I do not have high hopes at all. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. All right, so 3D printed version. Didn't come out too bad. We got some support material here we need to clean up, pull off of it, and it looks like probably run a file through it real quick just to clean it up a little bit more, but so far, dimensionally, it's, uh, it's a pretty close, uh, pretty close replica. So I'm gonna get this cleaned off real quick, and then uh, we're gonna go throw it in the car and see if it actually fits. All right, so the first thing we're gonna check is if this actually it actually fits. What do you know? I think I'm gonna throw the 3D printed one on that side because I don't use it as much. So we're gonna 
screw this one in up there and then I'm gonna put that one that I pulled off over here and uh, yeah. Check that out. It actually works. I need to find the screw that I just lost. Awesome. Had to lose the fucking shit. Oh, I found it. Oh, I found it. So it it doesn't look good. It doesn't look nearly as good. Now, so in conclusion, uh, can you just 3D scan a small little part? Take that scan, throw it into your slicer software, and then 3D print it? Yeah. He said with a lack of confidence. Now you can do it that way. It's not very clean though, especially not with not with an entry level scanner like this. So this is the Revo Point Pop 2. It works good for doing some stuff. It doesn't give the cleanest, highest resolution scans. It's not the easiest thing to use, but it is, you know, $10,000 cheaper pretty much than the next option out there. So this thing's like 750 bucks. So it's not too bad. It's great for doing, for checking clearances on stuff. So for example, I'm currently working on a barrel motor and designing accessory drive stuff for that. So this was good to scan that engine block in. So that way when I'm doing modeling, I can make sure there's no interference with the block. If it's not like super clean on the scan, that's really not important. I just need to make sure that it's good for clearances. But as for going straight from a scan to a 3D print, I will admit this got it a lot closer than I thought it would. I do think that if I were just to draw this in CAD, I could make it not only cleaner, I could make it fit better, and uh, the print quality would probably be a lot nicer by the time it was done, and it would probably take half the time to do. Scanning that little piece in, I had to do five different scan angles and then mesh all those scan angles together so each one of those scans by the time i was done i had about an hour and a half into scanning that little tiny part where 3d modeling this i probably could have knocked that out in five ten minutes that thing's probably going to break almost immediately which is a nice thing about doing the modeling myself all that factory all this hollow stuff on the inside here i'd actually be able to go through and make this more of a solid piece and print it solid, where the one I printed, I think I only did 25% infill, so that thing's probably gonna break immediately. Um, maybe I'll go through and just redo another one later, but scan to print, can you do it? Yes, um, all you need is, you know, a, a 3D printer and a, you know, $1,000 worth of equipment and spend basically two hours of your time, three hours of your time to replicate a part that costs $12 and it's not as good quality. Why did I do this? I don't know. This little scanner is nice for some things, but stuff like this, either spend the 12 bucks, buy the part, or, you know, uh, 3D model it and print it. I'm not against 3D modeling and printing stuff, especially even like little cheap stuff like this, because it's nice to be able to get it like same day. Uh, it's give it to take two, three days to get it. I can spend 10 minutes modeling it and then just throw it on the printer, let it run, and you're good to go. But I mean, I guess, yeah, you can scan to print, but it's just not going to be the best quality, at least not with this. So I don't know what the point of this video was, but uh, I have regrets. It took me all of 10 minutes to draw this up in CAD. Substantially faster than 3D scanning it. Oh, my God.